All right. Welcome to Hubwire. These are tonight's headlines. What is happening in Orson? Terrorist attack or invasion? The outlaws in Stanton are quickly expanding and may threaten the entire galaxy. But where do they come from? Find out here. And we will call up a private security company and have them quickly educate you on what to do when you get invaded. I'm Oliver Zark and you're watching Hubwire Galactic. Goodbye, Ash. We love you, bro. Thank you for those wonderful banana fountain pictures this morning. We appreciate your banana fountain pictures, and we love you, bro. We love you. Here's something we never thought we would see. A terrorist attack on the scale of an invasion is right now taking place in Crusader Industries' floating megacity, Orison. Over to our reporter on the scene, Aria Alet. Thank you, Oliver. Here in Orison, people are scared for their lives, and out on the platforms, residents are locked inside their apartments in an effort to avoid conflict. A couple days ago, local gang Nine Tails managed to forcefully occupy four of the bigger VIP residential platforms in the city. And while Orisonians have effectively locked down most of the... Orisonians? Is that the official name? Can we go to the uh, lore book here? Is the Orisonian... Uh, the people of Orison are called Orisonians. Is that what's going on? I don't know if I'm down with that. Buildings. The destruction out here makes the platforms look like a war zone. That looks horrible, but we don't see any crusader <laughs> security. That looks We're horrible. Running. Well, Oliver, there are a few reasons why. Firstly, this attack is too big for local police to handle. Mm. And the outlaws quickly established a no-fly zone, so no ships can get close. Crusader security did try to set up a perimeter, but quickly realized they needed help from the outside. Hold on, this just in. Hold on, I'm getting word. I'm getting word. Uh, we got a, we got a situation down there. It seems as if the nine tails are walking around, running into walls. Uh, not really aware of what's going on. Many of them thought to be drugged, uh, but this is not true. As one of them has been uh, interviewed, and he has something to say. One word, doink. One word, doink. Thank you. So the military, and more specifically the CDF, has been called in to deal with the situation. Currently, the only means of travel is the Orison shuttle service, but the CDF has done a great job securing the shuttle station, so getting fresh troops on site should not be a problem. For Hubwire Galactic, <laughs> I'm Area Alette. When looking at this situation, one might even think the Vandul has come to Stanton, as it looks very similar to the visuals we saw from the Battle of Vega 2 seven years ago. But as you just heard, this absolute carnage is caused by a local Stanton criminal gang known as the Ninetales, and they are based out in an old abandoned workers' facility sitting in the asteroid belt of a crusader moon. We got curious as to how it's possible for a small group like this to cause so much destruction, so we sent out our reporting intern, Russell Gainsley, to the old green imperial housing exchange, or as the locals call it, Grim Hex. Take a look. Here in Grim Hex, everyone is welcome. There are no laws here, and no criminal records. However, locals did establish an armistice zone, so outright murder is at least somewhat discouraged. Grimhex was initially built as a housing exchange, providing living quarters for workers like who were on breakdown. contracts around the moons of Crusader, but was abandoned 15 years ago for dwindling resources and economic collapse. A fair guess is unwanted elements started moving in here soon before the station was abandoned. It's a real shithole here. It's a formality from the company who built it. However, when asked, people who live out here are quick to deny any criminal activity on the station. Okay, this guy really looks the most professional. The FOIP is working correctly. Uh, it is bang on correct. The voice is right for a reporter. Who is this guy? Russell Gainsley. Give this guy a raise. Give this guy a raise, Oliver. This is how you do it. And they are just as quick to mention there are many benefits to living outside of monitored space. When asked to specify those benefits, though, they tend to change the subject rather quickly. The food is good? No, wait, um, 
th there are a selection of items and... Oh, the races. Did you see those? They're so fast. Bring us races at Grim Hex, please. This man is delusional and we do need Grim Hex Racing now. Thank you. Grim Hex Racing. I was cool with the go-kart information last night on Inside Star Citizen. Uh, on the Inside Star Citizen review, if you were watching last night, I was very, very, very pleased by what I saw with the uh, go-kart, little go-kart track. I thought that was awesome. The nostalgic vibes. I was getting that Mario Kart vibe. I was like, wow, that is really cool. But we want Grim Hex races. I don't care if the AI... Listen, listen. I don't care if the AI is derpy. Uh, I don't even care. Just put the put them there. Let's see what happens. Let's just race. Let's go. Let's get some gambling going in 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 hex. Let's get some gambling going. Let's bet on some derpy AI. Let's race against them too. That would be wonderful. Let, make that happen, Cloud Imperium. Make that happen. But there haven't been any races for a while. They'll be back soon though. So far since I got here, I've been approached by some sketchy people who have asked me to enter various airlocks, I've been offered to transport drugs to off-grid locations, and I've been asked about the price of our equipment. So saying there are no criminals here is obviously a bit of a stretch. The Ninetales are not too visible here, but it might be that they are just good at hiding their operation. Locals who wish to be anonymous are telling us the Nine Tails are based here and often come in to repair their ships to get rid of heat, but that most of their fleet is based out in deeper space. No one knows for sure how many ships they have, what type, or how big the organization actually is, making it hard for the law to accurately predict attacks. We hope that Crusader gets help in cleaning up the situation in Orison, but the responsibility for this station falls entirely on Crusader security for not dealing with this sooner. This outlaw base has been sitting here in plain sight for 15 years, and Crusader has done nothing. Obviously, since this is where the Nine Tails restock and rearm, shutting this place down is the only way out of the situation. Smoke them out! Take away their ability to function! Shoot them in the knee! You can't let them have Grim Hex and um, still accept. Huh? What the fuck you think you're doing? Hmm? Oh, no, no, I, I'm sorry, I just got carried away. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm practicing, uh, hoping to get into journalism in, in Raytor. Uh, Make sure you don't post that, or I'll fucking find you, Greg, in your journal about his posters. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, 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 of course. And they're stupid, too. Hey! <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> We're eclectic. I'm Russell Gainsley. That was Thank good. Thank you, Russell. And for anyone wondering, Russell made it out fine after cutting <laughs> a deal with a courier company to take him out of the station through an airlock instead of using the hangars. <laughs> Smart move, Russell. Now, as a UEE resident, you're probably wondering how you can protect yourself from similar attacks as the one we're seeing in Orison. So we've called up a security business specializing in conflict resolution and provision of security consulting services. The Black Star Initiative was formed by former Marines and has since the early 2900s helped several governments and legitimate organizations in similar situations. Mr. Styx Corax, welcome to Hubwire Galactic. I see you're in Orson already, helping out with defending the platforms I guess? Hi, yeah, I'm here with a contingent from my organization, Black Star Initiative. Um, we stand firmly against this assault and together with uh, Rowena Dooley and the Civilian Defense Force, we are laser focused on solving this crisis. Our duty as the leading prov security provider is to do everything in our power to push back this terrorist contingent. So if I'm in a city right now exposed to criminal activity and I want to protect myself, do you have any tips for me? Well yeah, the best tip I can offer is to leave. Um, if you have no prior military or security experience, then leave in the area or remaining inside. And today, or very soon, would be a very good time to register yourself for a, a, an imprint at your nearest hospital facility. Good point there about imprinting. Now, the attack on Orison is exceptionally large. If my city got invaded, is there anything I can do to protect myself, or should I just lay down flat on the ground? Uh, no, lying on the ground won't really help you too much. As I said before, if you wish to aid in the fight against Mendo Ren's forces... What's up, Donnie? Good morning, buddy. ...the civilian defense force is recruiting volunteers. Being specialized in security during this crisis, what services are you offering Orisonius? Well, as a PMC, we do offer ourselves for paid work, but in this instance, it's all hands on deck uh, with the CDF's call, so we're offering aid 
We can also offer some tips to those that would like to join the fight. We actually got some of those tips from your marketing department and we're showing them on screen right now. And for anyone watching this that want to join up, can they reach you somehow? Do you see what I'm saying about like players creating content in a, in a sandbox meant for MMO gaming? Do you guys understand what I'm saying uh, about like they're actually being content, you know, and that the MMOs really need to focus more on like player to player interactions and how the content really is us. Do you, are you guys starting to see that? I talked a lot about that last night. Um, you're going to see a lot of highlight videos where I start talking about like gameplay and you're going to see a lot of highlights where I'm focused on like content gameplay loops and how a lot of the times content in a game or game loops are directly dependent upon people and their imagination and how sad it is that like, it seems like a new generation of gamer has a lack of imagination you know, when they're put in a sandbox with all these great places, they still need spoon fed and they need like to be told what to do. And it's really kind of scary because it's 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 a biological thing that's happening uh, as as we propagate, <laughs> as our species continues to, to move forward through time. It scares me because there's a movie out there called um, Idiocracy. I don't know if you've seen this movie, but generally what it deals with is a dude who like goes into the future, like way fast forward into the future. And he finds himself surrounded by complete ignorant people, like completely stupid. They can't do math. Humans have evolved into essentially like, you know, potatoes, <laughs> you know, I love the movie. What reminds me of, of it is this, this new kind of sense of like as I'm seeing these new gamers hop on that have a lack of imagination and therefore they need spoon fed they they literally need spoon fed and it's really quite crazy yes we can be contacted via uh, spectrum uh, using the, the name the black star initiative or TBSI um, you can message us there and somebody will get back in contact with you very shortly. Thank you, Mr. Corex, for your time. Thank you very much and stay safe out there. It seems the local forces were not really on their toes for this attack, but by rallying the CDF and private military companies, it looks like Justice has a fair chance of winning this particular battle. That's all we had today. I'm Oliver Zark, and you are wiser than yesterday. Stay safe. Hubware Galactic was brought to you by our investors, as well as Ursadai Limited, for when you need the job done right the first time. This is great. I love what he did there. Go support our friend Oliver Zark. He is an awesome dude. Like really, if you don't know Zark Media, you need to go over there. I'm definitely going to like that video. I'm going to throw that video link in there. You guys can go check that out. You guys can go subscribe. Uh, do it. He needs, he needs the help. He really does. I mean, 3.5 thousand subscribers. He definitely should be having double that. Thank you, Dark Spike. How you doing, bro? Appreciate your support. Listen. That, I love that angelic music. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I have to pump that up if you can't hear that alert, but it's such a nice alert. <laughs> I personally talked about media or a news agency and Star Citizen back in 2016. And we were talking about like hollow cams and like we have theory crafting ideas on how to report events in game. The cool thing is now to be able to see this happening naturally, organically, right? Through the player base and seeing people take the effort to create content. It's just absolutely wonderful. And it wouldn't be possible if the environments weren't built the way that they are. Cloud Imperium did that. I mean, that is something that's there. That is content. You know, that it, it's it, there is progress. There is progress.